the year 2022 and I'm still using res. What am I doing with my life? People are like, what, what, what is this guy using? Reddit enhancement suites. It doesn't make any sense, right? Ready to release a new UI. It looks super sleek, right? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and in this video, I'll be covering some aspects why I still love to use the old Reddit UI along with REST. And if you're already sold on the idea, you just want to know the steps, just click on the video in the description. I'll show you briefly the extensions that you need to run this and how to take it into use. But here's just the advantages. So let's go ahead and get started. Mm. For example, ask Reddit, right? By default, the threads that it shows you is very limited, right? So it's three threads and you have to keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, which is kind of annoying. And with the old Reddit UI, I see up to what, six? If you use an ad blocker, you see seven. If you block this, even more. For example, here, when I turn on ad blocker, it's U block that I'm using. And with some filters, the filters you create them by doing right click, block element, and then selecting here in the bottom right. And the way this looks like, much, much cleaner. I can see up to eight threads. Even if you, you would filter this out, you would get some more. So for me, there's no, there's no comparison. Three versus eight, it's just like a world of difference. If I can save myself scrolling some, I really appreciate that. So this is already a pretty good reason why I'm using REST. And then, for example, if we click on one of the threads, again, you see here, just one answer. So you have to keep scrolling versus the old version that it has way more. And again, if you use the the filters where you remove this in the sidebar, it's even better. Let's get it load. So this is what it looks like. And something I really like also about REST is that if you press shift, the key shift and down, you can navigate top comments, which is pretty good. Same for up, you go back up. You can also, if you just want to see the top comments, you can click here on hide old child comments. And there you go. If you have one of this, these threads that they just ask a question and just want to see the top answers, this is one way that you can get there. If you wanted to do that here, I don't even know if they have an option. I don't think they have an option. So you would have to kind of like just you know, collapse everything. It's kind of like very arduous type of work. I don't know if there's any like keyboard shortcuts. So this is kind of a bit annoying in my opinion. Another like pro of using REST, for example, this is the, the modern UI and you have pictures. Okay, you scroll down, fine. But there's no way if you wanted to get something bigger or not, you couldn't do that. But now, you have here, show images, or you can just show one in particular. You can make it a smaller, a bigger. You can change the size, it's quite convenient. You can save it directly, you can rotate it. So it gives you a whole bunch of options. You can also show all images at the same time. And this is especially useful if you have um, a portrait. So if you can put your, if you can turn your monitor 90 degrees, and get it on a vertical, like for example, for programming or stuff like that. This this is amazing way to, to use this. Um, what else? Yeah, I think there's another example here for a thread where you just don't see a lot of space here. But with this, you get to see so much more. It's incredible. And then even if we get rid of the sidebar, this is much, much better. And this is when you put it on a portrait, so in, on a vertical monitor, this is like the perfect width. So you can even see more. So here we compare, I see maybe the first comment a little bit. On the next one, I see four comments, much better. If you put it in the vertical one, I can see, I'll just 
I can see, let's see if I can get it off the screen here. You won't be able to see it, but I'll be able to tell you that I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven comments in the vertical version of this. So versus, let's say the vertical version of the new UI, I can see one, two, three, four. So a lot of real estate is being lost here that you have to use a lot of scrolling for it. So I don't, I don't like this new UI. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I covered everything with the, with the, again, the keyboard shortcut, shift up and down. And then another pro tip that I have is that in, in your user, so you would go reddit.com slash prefs, P-R-E-F-S, sorting comments by whatever you want. Let's say controversial, top, in my opinion, top is better because sometimes with controversial issues, if you click best, if it's very downvoted, it will it will get hidden. I always like to see what, what's top. And, and that's it. That's it for me. I, I hope you liked the video and I convinced you a little bit about the pros of, of REST. Also, maybe it's worth mentioning that. Um, let's see if I'm getting this. Yeah, for example, if you have a subreddit, not only for pictures, but if you have like, I can't come up with any, but if there's a subreddit where every thread is like a video, they will always all open with this as well. So you would just click here for show images and then the videos or GIFs or stuff like that would open. So um, it's quite cool. All right, if you want to know, want to hear how to do this, just watch the video in the description. Turkey, take care, bye-bye.